In Activity 9, Inclined Planes, students are introduced to a fourth type of simple machine, the inclined plane. The students first measure the amount of force needed to do a given amount of work, and then discover how an inclined plane enables them to use less force to do about the same amount of work by distributing the force over a greater distance. You will need the following materials from the kit. Activity Sheet 9, Wooden Boards, Brick Halves, Spring Scales, Roll of String, Roll of Masking Tape, and Sheets of Wax Paper. You will also need to provide books, metric rulers, and pairs of scissors. To prepare for the activity, make a copy of Activity Sheet 9 for each student. Start by cutting a piece of string 45 centimeters long for each team and cut each sheet of wax paper in half. Each team of four students will need a brick half, a wooden board, a spring scale, a piece of string, two pieces of waxed paper, a few long strips of masking tape, a metric ruler, and five or six books, which will be used to elevate one end of the board. To begin the activity, place a brick and a stack of five or six books side by side on a demonstration table. Ask students, how could you move this brick from the tabletop to the top of this stack of books? Students will most likely mention that they could lift the brick. Encourage answers that involve methods other than simply lifting. Next, distribute Activity Sheet 9 and the materials and ask the teams to stack five or six books at their work area. Instruct students to tie the string around the brick and use the spring scale to lift the brick straight up to the top of the books. Have them measure the amount of force needed to lift the brick as well as the distance traveled by the brick and record this information on their activity sheets. Instruct students to calculate the amount of work that was accomplished in this case. If necessary, remind students of the equation for calculating work. Work equals force times distance. When students have completed the first three questions on their activity sheets, ask them to hypothesize how they could use less force to accomplish the same goal. If they do not mention it, ask students, do you think a ramp might be helpful? Explain that what we call a ramp is really a simple machine called an inclined plane, or a flat, slanted surface. Next, distribute a wooden board to each team. And tell students that they will use the wooden board to make a ramp or inclined plane. Have students tape the pieces of wax paper end to end along the board. This wax paper will reduce the friction between the brick and the board. The students should then prop one end of the wooden board on the stack of books. Demonstrate how to use the spring scale to pull the brick up the inclined plane and how to hold the spring scale so that it is parallel to the board. Students should record the force required to move the brick and the distance the brick traveled, then calculate the amount of work that was accomplished in this case. Tell students to record their results on the activity sheet. After everyone has finished experimenting and recording, draw a chart. Ask one of the teams to share its test results and record those results in the chart. Instruct students to study the chart and to compare the distance the brick traveled in each case with the force required to lift it. Students should realize that when the brick was lifted straight up, more force was exerted over a shorter distance. Conversely, when the brick was pulled up an inclined plane, less force was exerted over a longer distance. Next, ask students what changed in each case. Students should reply that the distance the brick was moved and the force exerted changed. Then ask, in which case did the brick move the longer distance? Students should answer that the brick moved a longer distance when the brick was pulled up the inclined plane and a shorter distance when lifted straight up. Point out to the students that although the brick itself moved a different distance in each case, the vertical distance from the desktop to the top of the stack of books remained the same in both. Then ask students, in which case was more force used to raise the brick? Students should reply that more force was used when the brick was lifted straight up and less force was used when the brick was pulled up the inclined plane. Then ask, did you do the same amount of work, less work, or more work when you used the inclined plane to raise the brick? Students should answer that about the same amount of work was done and that less force was applied over a longer distance. Explain that friction may have increased slightly the amount of force needed to pull the brick up the length of the board. 
Finally, have students complete their activity sheets. To conclude the activity, have students discard the pieces of string and wax paper and return the spring scales and wooden boards to the kit. For science background, reinforcement activities, curriculum connections, and information about the Delta Science Reader, please consult your DSM teacher's guide.